Researchers say a fifth person has been cured of HIV after a high-risk stem cell transplant. The findings were published in the journal Nature after a 53-year-old man in Germany showed no detectable virus in his body after stopping his HIV medications for more than four years. It's worth noting that this patient joins a small group of people who have been said to be cured of HIV under extreme circumstances. ABC News medical contributor and emergency medicine physician Dr. Darian Sutton joins me now to discuss this. Uh, Dr. Sutton, and good to see you. So HIV.gov says more than 38 million people in 2021 globally are living with HIV. Of that, 38 million, 1.2 million in the U.S. are living with the virus. Walk us through how this patient was apparently cured of HIV. Good afternoon, Alexis. This is another remarkable breakthrough, breakthrough that adds to the years and decades, <clears throat> excuse me, of research that have been done to find a cure for HIV. In this particular case, this was a 53-year-old male who had been previously diagnosed with HIV. In 2011, he was unfortunately diagnosed with leukemia, for which he was given chemotherapy and a stem cell transplant. Now, what's important about this case is that his stem cell transplant came from a donor who was naturally resistant against HIV. Many may not know, but there's a small percentage of the population that don't have the receptors needed for HIV to bind and cause infection. And after that transplant, this patient then began to develop new and healthy cells. And as you said, since 2018, he has not needed any HIV medication or treatment and has been continuously tested. And there have been no detectable signs of the HIV virus, which is incredibly, this is what makes it a remarkable and a breakthrough. Yeah, truly remarkable. But I know this treatment uh, is not one that everyone with HIV can undergo, right? There are some risks and, and some limitations here. Uh, stem cell transplants are an incredibly risky procedure. Right now, they are only retained for those who absolutely need it with life-threatening conditions, for example, like leukemia. With stem cell transplants, patients do need chemotherapy to get rid of the dysfunctional and diseased cells, but that can cause significant immune suppression, which can make patients susceptible to life-threatening infections. There's also the risk that stem cell transplants can be rejected from patients, which can also be life-threatening. So hopefully more research comes where we can get a possible treatment or cure without the risk associated with something like this. But, you know, as the world races to end the HIV epidemic, doctor, HIV and AIDS treatments and prevention continues to advance, right? There are so many resources available, thankfully. Two of the biggest ones are called PEP and PrEP. Can you break that down for us? Absolutely. So thanks to modern medication, people with HIV can live long and healthy lives. And thanks to medication, those who consistently take it and are undetectable will not transfer it, to, to transfer it to their sexual partners. And like you said, we also have medications for prophylaxis or prevention. We call it PrEP or pre-exposure prophylaxis. It's a medication that if taken daily can significantly reduce one's chances of getting infected with HIV. And we also have PEP, which is post-exposure prophylaxis. And that is for patients who may have a high-risk interaction that come into the emergency room and that medication I can provide and prescribe that can substantially still reduce their risk after the uh, after the intervention that might have caused their exposure. And when we talk about the medicines that allow people living with HIV to live a healthy life, there's something called undetectable equals untransmittable. Remind us what that means and why it's important. Such an important thing to remember. Uh, it has been dedicated, dedicated research has been done to understand this concept. And we now understand that those who have HIV, who consistently take their medication and are consistently undetectable, cannot transfer it to their sexual partners. Now, that means that people who are healthy and living their well lives and taking their medications regularly cannot produce that risk for their sexual and intimate partners. And that is something that unfortunately is not well known. And I'm hopeful that more people will understand it to hopefully decrease the stigma associated with this diagnosis. Dr. Darian Sutton, thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.